lot can happen over a coffee. Yes, you are right about what comes ahead in today's session. Greetings of the day. This is Pankaj Sharma again with another session on non-alcoholic beverages. And in today's session, we will be discussing about coffee. At the end of this session, learner will be able to define coffee, explain the manufacturing process of coffee, explain and differentiate different coffee brewing methods, enlist and explain different types of coffee as well as list out the different coffee brands. Let's see what a coffee is. As we discussed earlier as well, it's a non-alcoholic stimulating beverage which is made from roasting and ground seeds of coffee plant and these seeds are known as coffee beans. Now these coffee plants they bear a small red cherry like a fruit which contain coffee beans. There are two major species of coffee plant. The first one is coffee arabica which is the most famous one and the second one is coffea robusta and this coffee contains caffeine which is a stimulating agent. Coming to origin of coffee, the coffee originated from Ethiopia near about the 9th century and from Ethiopia it reached to Egypt, Yemen and slowly uh, near about uh, 15th century it spread to Armenia, Persia, Turkey and northern part of Africa and from there it reached to Europe and America and at present Brazil is a leading coffee producing country in the world. Moving ahead to the manufacturing process of coffee, it starts with the harvesting and goes till packaging. We will be discussing these uh, all steps one by one. The first one is harvesting. In harvesting, as we discussed, the coffee is made from the cherries. So we harvest these cherries, ripened cherries from the coffee plant. And these coffee beans which are found in the cherry, they are used for making coffee and next step is processing of these beans and in order to process these beans uh, usually there are two different methods which are followed the first one is wet process and the second one is dry process let's see them one by one what's this wet process is and what's this dry process in the wet process as the name clarifies like cherries are immersed in the water and then they are sorted accordingly. The cherry uh, which float on the top, they are discarded and the one which sink on the bottom, they are considered for further process. The skin and pulp of these uh, cherries are then removed by the machines and finally the seeds are removed and sun dried. And in the dry process, these cherries are just clean and sun dried directly uh, for approximately 4 weeks and these dried cherries uh, with the help of machines their seeds are removed and after this process the bean which we get is known as green coffee. Next step in the coffee manufacturing is grading. In grading we sort and grade the coffee beans as per their color, size and quality. Next is roasting in which coffee beans are roasted to various degree and it helps to get the desired flavor and aroma. Now we have different stages of roasting uh, in which we have light, medium and full roasting. When we talk about the light roasting, it is done at the temperature of 193 degrees Celsius and it gives our uh, beans a very light color and which preserve its delicate aroma of the coffee. The second one is medium. The roasting Temperature increased to 205 degrees Celsius and the color turned little uh, you know brownish to the medium color and it gives us little more strong flavor than the light roasted coffee. And the last one is full roasting in which roasting temperature would be 218 degrees Celsius and uh, we get a dark color uh, beans out of this and the flavor would be the bitter flavor. After roasting we grind our beans to various degree and this grinding gives us the coffee to close to 
fine texture according to our requirement and last is packaging in the manufacturing process and uh, this coffee in uh, various uh, you know various degree of grinding these are packed vacuum packed and sealed in the tight container it's very important to pack them uh, air tight to prevent it from the moisture and air and ground coffee if it's not packed properly then it may lose its uh, flavors moving ahead to the various coffee making methods we have filter coffee instant coffee la cafetiere which is also known as plunger pot method percolator method and espresso method so these are the different methods uh, uh, by which coffees can be made the first one is the filter coffee now filter coffee this is very very famous in southern part of uh, india as you can see in the picture like we have two different containers a top and a bottom one the top container is uh, consists of a perforated base and on which we place the ground coffee along with the boiling water and then the infusion occurs in the top container and slowly the coffee uh, decoction get filtered to the bottom container the next method is instant coffee and this is the most quickest and easiest coffee making method and with this we can make the coffee in small as well as large quantity i'm sure uh, with the picture given at the bottom you can uh, relate this method because this is one of the method which we use at our homes as well and uh, we can make coffee immediately whenever required just pour the boiling water over the instant coffee powder and our coffee is ready that's why it's known as instant coffee it can be served with milk cream and sugar it can be taken black as well next is la cafetiere or plunger pot method just have a look on this picture this method is also known as french press method and it consists of a glass container with lid along with a lid which have a plunger inserted in it now the ground coffee is placed in the glass container along with the boiling water and then we give it a stir and then place the plunger along with the lid and let it infuse for 4 5 minutes now this method is somewhat similar to filter coffee and in this the water is poured at the bottom chamber and the ground coffee is placed on the filter which is above that uh, we heat as we heat the water from the bottom the hot water rises to the top from a pipe and infuses through, through this ground coffee and through the filter it seeps to the bottom again so basically we pump this uh, uh, decoction again and again through the ground coffee and this cycle continues till the time we doesn't receive the actual strength of our decoction and then we can serve it from this pot the last method is espresso method this method originated from italy and very widely used in the hotels we have espresso machines which are used to make this particular type of coffee and it's a strong coffee made by forcing very hot water under high pressure through very fine ground coffee and we have machines which can make 300 to 400 cups per hour moving ahead to the various varieties of coffee the first one is espresso as we discussed earlier it's a black coffee brewed with a high pressure steam and uh, espresso is a very strong coffee which is served as a espresso shot which is 30 ml in the hotels and this act as a base for various other varieties of coffee the second one is espresso dobbio which is uh, a double shot of espresso that means double espresso 60 ml the third one is americano equal quantity of espresso and hot water makes americano it's it's very difficult to you know consume espresso as a need so americano in americano we add hot water in this and dilute our espresso the next a very famous is cappuccino which is a equal part of espresso steamed milk and formed milk these all three combined together make a cappuccino the next variety is cafe latte a uh, very similar to cappuccino with slight difference it's a coffee topped with steamed milk so there is no formed milk 
in cafe latte the next one is macchiato and it's a espresso with a small amount of foam milk basically to dilute the espresso and last one in this uh, varieties of coffee is cafe mocha which is coffee with milk and chocolate let's see some specialty coffees which are there around the world now what these specialty coffees are specialty coffees are basically the coffee uh, which contain some spirit or liqueur in them like we have irish coffee which uh, is made by irish whiskey along with coffee decoction and cream on top next is russian coffee uh, which have a base of vodka and then we have jamaican coffee which is uh, made from dark rum cafe royal or royal coffee with uh, cognac and uh, bombs coffee in which we add benedictine which is a liqueur very famous liqueur the second last one is seville coffee which contain cointreau again a liqueur which have a orange flavor and last calypso coffee which have a base of Chia Maria, which is again a coffee flavor liquor. Last, let's see some famous brands of coffee which are uh, there in the market. We have Nescafe, Brew, Lavaza, the Indian Bean, Starbucks, and even Cafe Coffee Day. They have their own uh, coffee brands in the market, and many more to go. Let's summarize what we learned through this session. We started with the coffee introduction in which uh, we learned like coffee is a stimulating beverage which is made from coffee beans. We discussed about, it, about its origin which was from Ethiopia and from there it reached to different different uh, parts of the world. And then we discussed about its manufacturing from uh, cherry till the coffee powder and its packaging. Uh, moving ahead we also discussed different methods of making coffee along with the different varieties where we discuss about instant coffee, filter coffee, uh, French press method, espresso etc. And in the varieties we discuss various varieties of coffee uh, like mocha, macchiato, latte, cappuccino, espresso etc etc. Last along with the brand names we discuss about some specialty coffees like Irish coffee, Russian coffee, monks coffee and many others. Before we end, there are a few things to point out for you. Go and find out about decaffeinated coffee. Do we have anything like decaffeinated coffee in the market? And also try to find out about the coffee substitute as well as the civet coffee. In the next session to this series of non-alcoholic beverages, we will be discussing about cocoa, juices and soft drinks. Till then, have a great time. Thank you.